Okay, I know that uh, I said that this next part would start at the Magician's Study, but look at what has shown up in Traverse Town since we left Monstro. Geppetto's house. So this is what happened to Pinocchio and Geppetto. Pinocchio? Hey, it's Sora! Well, hello, Sora. How did you get here? A man named Leon helped us. He even got us this house to live in. I don't know how I'll ever repay his kindness. Say, I hear you three are fighting the Heartless. I thought I might be able to help you, so I made this. Geppetto. For us? But of course, Pinocchio and I can't thank you enough. We'll do anything we can to help you. I believe that is a Keyblade. No, actually it's not. It's funny, I, re I recall getting a Keyblade from Geppetto. Then what is Geppetto then? I guess that's an item? Uh, I don't see it here. Huh. I'm honestly trying to remember what that is. Or is that an ability, maybe? No. No, it's not an ability. I honestly cannot remember what that is. Let's talk to them. I'm being good even without Jiminy's help. Sora, look at look at what I've cooked up this time. Obtain Sid. There you go. What? He just keeps giving me things with people's names on him. Sora, look what I've cooked up this time. He just keeps giving me things. Huh. What the heck was that? Was that? Cactuar? If Pinocchio becomes a real boy, I'm sure he'll be just like you. Aw, thanks, Geppetto. But man, what were those things he gave me? Ah, here it is. Here's the Keyblade that I get from him. Yeah, Wishing Star. T has a short reach, but always finishes with a combo attack with a powerful critical blow. So it increases your strength, just like uh, Three Wishes and Jungle King, but it decreases the, M the magic power that you get from the Spellbinder. And it's, you know, it's, it has a short reach, just like uh, Three Wishes. It's it's nice, but it's, you know, I'm actually liking what I'm, you know, with the Spellbinder now with increased magic and uh, still plenty of strength to use. So, it's a nice Keyblade, but, eh. But my, I want to know is, what were those other things? Hey, were those character entries or something? Oh, look at that. You can also now get Ansem's Report and minigames. That's right, we got the first page of Ansem's Report. Let's take a look at it. Much of my life has been dedicated to the pursuit of knowledge. That knowledge has guarded this world well. Not a soul doubts that. I am blessed with my people's smiles and respect. But though I am called a sage, there are things I do not understand. I believe darkness sleeps in every heart, no matter how pure. Given the chance, the smallest drop can spread and swallow the heart. I have witnessed it many times. Darkness. Darkness of the heart. How was it born? How does it come to affect us so? As ruler of this world, I must find the answers. I must find them before the world is lost to those taken by the darkness. Okay. Who's honey? If somebody knows what those were that Geppetto gave me, go ahead and leave you know, write it in the comments so I can find out because I honestly cannot remember what those were. I just remember getting that Wishing Star Keyblade from him and that was it. I cannot remember anything, any of those other things that he gave me. But anyway, let's go to the Magician's Study now and uh, turn in the torn page to uh, the Hundred Acre Wood Book so we can help Winnie the Pooh. Uh, let's go ahead and take care of these guys, do a bit of grinding, get some rare items for synthesis. Got a lot of spirit shards there. These guys. Okay. Ha! Ah, a whole bunch of these guys. Okay. Mystical house. Huh? Ah. 
There we go. Alright. Magician study. If I haven't said before that I love the music of this game, I love the music of this game. <laughs> okay. Let's return to the torn page. Let's see who else we can help this time. What other famous Winnie the Pooh character has now re shown themselves? Oh, oh. I think I recognize this house. A broad expanse of vegetable fields. Ah, I know who lives here. Ah, uh, who. What, what Winnie the Pooh character do you remember that cared a lot about uh, raising, you know, growing vegetables? Carrots, cabbages, pumpkins. Now here's the funny thing. It's kind of a jerk thing to, to pull out all these pumpkins, but if you pull some of them out, you can actually find items underneath. See? I just found a potion. <laughs> Under one of those pumpkins. So... This may be a bad thing to do, but if you can find items, it's almost like, yeah, it's kind of worth it. <laughs> you never know what valuable item you might find under here. There go the pumpkins. <laughs> Halloween's over. Get these pumpkins out of here. <laughs> I, think it's, I think it might be the same with these cabbages. Eh, I don't like cabbages anyway. <laughs> Sora's like an ant, complete anti-vegetarian. <laughs> Just get throwing them all up into the sky. And if you notice, they never come back down. Look at this, I just found another potion. <laughs> and while I may not be able, may not have to use those potions in this mode, I can certainly sell them. It's like you just find a whole bunch of stuff. It's the typical looting 101 in video games. Looting 101. Find find everything you can. And if you can't use it, sell it. So you can get more money to get other things that you do want. It's a one-on-one -on -one rule when it comes to video games. Especially in RPGs. Ah, see? Rabbit! See that? It's Rabbit's house! There's a letter inside. I hope we'll be finding more honey together soon. Pooh. <laughs> ah, Pooh Bear. Always with the trying to find honey. Nobody's home. And I'm out of honey. What? No one's home, and I'm completely out of honey. What? Oh, it's Pooh and Piglet. Rabbit's house. <laughs> Look, Rabbit's house came came back, but it looks like Rabbit isn't home. Pooh's been calling and calling, but the house says no one's there. <laughs> the house says no one's there. Nobody's home? That's right, nobody. <laughs> Okay, you know what? Let's go inside and solve this mystery. Rabbit's house. Who is this person named Nobody? Nobody. Have you seen Rabbit? <laughs> He's still going in. No, no Rabbit here. There's no one here. Ah, there's Rabbit. <laughs> oh, hello, Rabbit. Ah... <sighs> Why, Pooh, what a pleasant surprise. Nice to see you too, Piglet, and... <laughs> Is this a new friend? P -p Pooh, I'm sorry, but uh, I'm all out of honey at the moment. <laughs> and of course, Pooh is going, hmm. I'm not sure if I believe that. Sora, do you smell honey? Aha! He smells honey. And if you look up... If you look up here... Yep, look at that. Honey! Now how did that get up there? <laughs> Would you like some poo? Don't you feel... Don't feel you have to, of course. Oh, thank you, rabbit. I would like just a small smackerel. I'm quite hungry. Um, Pooh Bear? And he's gonna eat the whole thing. You're not eating the whole pot, are you? Once you start, there's no stopping you, is there? <laughs> yep. 
Once you start, he's not gonna stop eating honey. Ah, uh, out of honey again. <laughs> so Rabbit came back too, but someone's still missing. Some places in the Hundred Acre Wood are gone too. Oh, what to, what, what to do? Uh, Pooh? The, 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 Pooh? Pooh? I'm so glad to have found both Rabbit and some honey. Pooh? Yeah, a uh, uh, poo. <laughs> poo, can can you put the t the pot down for just a, a poo? <sighs> Rabbit's right. Once you once you get started, there's no stopping Pooh from finishing off his honey. 